All right, guys, since I have a lot of time on my hands, a lot of gaming videos are gonna come to you quick. All right, so this is gonna be my unboxing of just the regular standard editions of Shenmue 1 and 2 for the Xbox One and Shenmue 3 for the PS4. And a review, sorry, it must be my cat doodle around, a review on I just beat all three of them within this month so I did beat the original one back in 2000 I think on the Dreamcast and at that time that was huge that was invaded because I that game if you haven't played Shenmue Shenmue is probably the reason why you have so many open world games I mean it was like the starter pack for um opening up a new style of, of game and for that time they did a phenomenal job it was an amazing game with weather patterns we had to work in the game which i thought fucking sucked because you didn't like just work once or twice to you know kind of make the story go you had to actually earn and grind money which fucking sucks in all the shen moves i I think that shit's boring. There's ways to get around it with gambling and stuff, but I, I, I do that shit in real life. I don't want to do it in the video games, so I don't think I know anybody that really enjoys that in the game. Maybe young kids that have never done it. It's exciting to see it in the game, but um, I got this one for the Xbox One, and there it is. You can see it. It's Shenmue 1 and Shenmue 2. Now, cool thing about this is I actually got Shenmue 2 back imported from Japan on the Dreamcast in 2001. When I was, I think, just in like 8th grade or either, I gotta remember, it was either 8th or ninth grade. I beat one and I was dying for two. I was like, oh my god, I can't wait. And then the Dreamcast just bombed, which sucks because it was actually ahead of its time. And it was too expensive, and people weren't buying it. They're buying 64 PlayStation, which is great systems, too. I had those, but Dreamcast was where it's at, man. Dreamcast had some amazing games and great ports that people just didn't get to experience. And uh, I imported it from Japan. And this was back, all you people watching me, this was back before YouTube was around, where the internet was just, it was not like it was. I can't even remember how I imported it. I think I went to my local game store. And I found a way for them to order it and uh, get it to me. And I can't remember exactly what I did, but I ended up getting it. And oh my God, was I stoked because I had imported and the Dreamcast could play imported games. There was something with it, like it was it was it wasn't region locked or something. I can't remember, but you had no problem playing uh, the imported games from Japan. And um, yeah, I started playing it, <clears throat> and I never finished it. It was hard at that time for me. Still kind of a pain in the ass, some of it. Um, and then it came back out on Xbox and only released in America for the first time on Xbox. And I played it, and I was like, heck yeah, it was a little polished up, you know, graphics were better. And uh, I played it, and still I got to the part where Wong steals your bag, and I, fuck, I was like, fuck this, and I got pissed off, and, you know, through there, and I gave up. And it's like, that it had to have been like 20 years almost now, I think. Uh, I'm not doing the math in my head correctly I don't it was either 19 or 20 years I'd have to see when exactly it came out in Japan when I got it because it was earlier than America um or than it was supposed to but I beat both of them this this month I went back through one got the achievements played it beat two and beat three now I have to say I don't know if it's because my sheer memories of the first one and everything but I have to say the storyline flows through the first one the best. I enjoyed the first one more than 2 and 3. 2 was cool. Ren's one of my favorite characters in 2. Uh, you meet Shenhua, all that. And then uh, in 3 you meet... Um, you finally meet it with Lan Di and then like, he's gone in 2 seconds. So it's pissed me off. There's possibly going to be a 4. But anyways, um, it came with a poster with the front two I have it up there I don't have it right here in my hand um, and then of course you have the reversible background let me get this out of the way so you can put the cover of oops you 
can put the cover of, if you see it there, one or the cover of two. There we go, let's go lower. So you could swap that and flip it over if you wanted to, and you can actually see it. It's got Shinmu 1 and 2 on there. Um, there's the disc. Let's see if I can get better. Now I chose Xbox One because, I mean, like I told you guys, I, I enjoy my Xbox more than my PS4 as far as uh, performance it outperforms and just as far as like. I like both of them a lot. I really do, actually. But uh, Xbox One, for me, is just where it's at, and I've been with them. I've actually probably been with PlayStation longer, but I've stuck around straight with Xbox all the way through uh, from every system. Uh, so, yeah, my review, I would say in today's day and age, porting and bringing them back for there, I would give them a 6, 6.5. You know, just because they're older, outdated games, they're fun. If you're into the storyline, you really want to know, I'd give it maybe then a 7.5 like me because I wanted to know, you know. But if you're just picking it up, this game, realistically, if you're not big into the storyline, it's going to be like a, a 4 to a 5 rating for you probably. Um, just because it's so old. It, you know, it's very old mechanics crossing on the mechanics from Dreamcast controller. They did their best, but it, it's not it's not flush um i wouldn't say it's perfect or anything um which brings me over to shenmue 3 they will release this i didn't get any of the you know special buys or anything like that unfortunately um but i will say this uh they only did it on pc and they only did it on ps4 which doesn't make sense to me i guess something with licensing money or something um i think they would have done pretty good because they sold these two on uh, Xbox pretty good too actually I think and um, you know originally Shinmu 2 came out on the Xbox only because technically it didn't come out on Dreamcast except for in Japan uh, but leads me to Shenmue 3 now I'm got mixed feelings about this okay so there's nothing in here but the receipt and warranty here's the disc and this is one of the reasons why I bought a PS4, along with Final Fantasy VII and God of War. Um, graphics were okay. It, it still felt very outdated. It felt like they took, because if I remember right, and you know, don't quote me because I can't remember 100%. If I remember right, they were starting Shenmue 3 on Dreamcast. I think they uh, started it to a certain point like very early and then gave up or something like that or they just you know didn't have the funding wasn't selling good enough um and then the hardcore fans uh did a big crowdfunding for this and i'm thankful for that i don't hate this game at all i i just think it it was it needed more polish it needed more time uh the talking felt like it came straight out of one and two I mean, they would talk and be like, he'd be like, hi, how are you doing today? And he'd go, or what, he would say something like, what, what is, or something like, you know, something that just doesn't fucking even relate to what the person was saying. And it would just, that would be the end of the dialogue and stuff. So it was pretty bad in that point. And you would expect that out of these two that were made early 2000, you would expect those mistakes and they didn't take gaming as serious and it was just... But you, you don't want to see that in stuff like today. You know, I feel like if anything could have saved this game, because I, I'm honestly going to give this as a brand new game, maybe a five or six. Uh, it really was very laggy. While you're in Bailu Village in the beginning, you are going to be bored. Um, unfortunately, like that's half the game. Uh, you're in there and it's just really not that fun. Once you meet this drunken master, I can't remember his name, he gets a little bit better and then you start to find out some more stuff and it moves on a little bit. But it, it's pretty tedious. you got to practice your martial arts. Um, and, and I don't mean like once or twice in a dojo going, you have to freaking practice them to a ridiculous amount, which is cool in building your endurance and stuff. I get it. But the grinding in this game is all grind. You gotta go collect herbs to sell to get money. You gotta chop firewood. You gotta replenish your health by eating. You gotta do, and it's just to me, 
I don't want to work a job and work to feed myself and do this shit in a video game. I got to do it in real life plus provide for two children. Me and my wife are tired enough as it is. It's like, I don't want to do this in a video game. So that killed me right there. I was like, ah, oh, God, this is annoying. Um, the, the fighting was good. The, the martial arts was pretty sweet. The fighting was pretty good. The, the fighting system was better than uh, the first two. Um, the graphics were a little bit better. Uh, the a beautiful game. It, they they definitely brought out the environment really well in this game. They they made the environment probably the number one focus in this game, uh, which turned out beautiful. But a lot of other stuff suffered. Um, I haven't even bought the DLC, and normally I'm a DLC guy. It does not bother me to buy DLC for for a video game. It doesn't. It, I see it as if it produce it. It bothers me if they like literally hold back the DLC that they could have put in the game right away just to make extra money that shit bothers me but if it's like hey a year six months a year and they're they're working on polishing up some some other stories to the game I don't mind that I think that's cool that they support games uh that's why I'll buy Call of Duty's DLC for some other games and um Dragon Ball Z and and things like that and Fighters because hell Fighters has been out almost three years and they keep updating it that shit's awesome to me and I'll support a company. So you may have different views on there. Um, that's my views on it. And this one, I won't buy the DLC, unfortunately. And I want to help the company out because I know they can do more. But apparently, it's so hard to find what you need to do and start stuff in this game. I, I did everything. I found it. But sometimes you're walking around like, what the fuck am I supposed to do? And there's barely any clues or, or hints. And... You ask the same people, you'll ask them two or three times, they won't answer you, and then you come back to them, and then all of a sudden they answer you like you never asked them. And you haven't done anything else. You didn't talk to anybody else. You didn't do anything else. So it's got very broken mechanics, I would say, into the game. Um, it didn't feel like it evolved very well in the dialogue and the, the human connection that you're supposed to have with the characters. It, it very well felt lost in 2000 and uh that was sad because i was really looking forward to this game and the dlc like i was talking apparently it is so hard to even get it started when you get started so slow and then it was meant to be introduced in the middle of the game so when you beat the game it's even more tough which generally most people beat the game before buying the dlc or doing it and it just seems to be a headache from what I understand. They did a battle royale mode where you fight, where I'm, I'm really not into that. I was going to buy the whole 15 or 20 bucks set, you know, to have everything. There's something where you go on a boat and uh, you have, like, games and something special. So I, I may go back to it. I may do it and venture on it. But as of right now, Shenmue I'm done with um, at the moment. I don't know if I'm going to do the DLC. It kind of angers me a little bit inside that they're gonna make a four um because i wanted the story to be over i wanted to know what was what it was going to be done now i don't know the history if there was supposed to be a four coming or originally if this was supposed to be a whole four part four part deal if so that's kind of cool you know if they did you know it's planned but if they had so much trouble with the, the crowdfunding for this one how are they gonna you know fund it for the for the next one and how long are we gonna have to wait you know there it could end up being canceled and there you go we still never got the story because this was almost 20 years later to get Shenmue 3 um so hopefully um put this over here hopefully that's a good review for some of you guys um that's more of a person i'm not sitting there going oh yeah 60 frames per second stuff but just don't get me wrong i like guys that do that it's cool um you know when you have someone doing that the mine is just from a straight player's point of view like i sat down concentrated on the game and played it so unfortunately i just don't have the stuff for you to sit down and show it soon hopefully i'll have stuff where i'll show the video and a bam i can edit and talk while i'm watching the video to remind me and stuff like that through the gameplay but yeah that's uh shenmue one two and three uh first two for xbox one third one on ps4 um if you started shenmue for yourself, if you enjoyed the first one, go out and buy them and finish it. It's long. You're going to kind of be like, oh, you know, some parts. But it is worth it in the end. Um, 
I'm just going to tell you realistic expectations about Shenmue 3. It was kind of a big letdown. Um, I'm glad I played it and I got it. But it was nowhere near what I hoped or expected, uh, sadly. In fact, it seemed like they added a lot more of the tedious, aggravating things than improving on the fun things that were already in there. And the storyline uh, and the fighting mechanics were a little bit better, but all in all, so I was happy to see Ren's back. Uh, you really didn't do much with Shenwa at all after... Uh, you know, from one, they, who is this girl? You see her in the video. Two, it was all about finally you find her and you get to know her. And then, really, you just do most all the searching and stuff all by yourself. You don't really, you don't really do too much with Shen. Well, she's there, but she's not really involved. So the character development was pretty bad, I would say. Um, the movements were pretty 2000. You just have to play the game and see yourself or go watch some videos. Uh, if you're a Shenmue fan, pick it up. If you're a Shenmue starter and you're just bored and you're yearning, yearning to finish it, get, get it. Get one and two and three and do it. Um, don't buy it at a super high price. Um, get it and at a good bargain deal price and or free on xbox uh um gamer pass or whatever playstation provides if they got it um and then be done with it um uh, if you're big and you know like me if there's a four, i'm gonna want to finish it but basically say on crv's toms rating one to ten i i gotta go with a 5.5 to six for shenmue three for shenmue one and two i'd go with a 6.5 just because, you know, they were built older and it's cool to see them ported over to HD. Uh, it's just the controls didn't port over so well. and uh, But it was still worth it. It was fun. But if you haven't played them and you look and you want a good story, your favorite one is going to be to start with one, I think, and you'll enjoy it. Um, but, yeah, that's my, my thing on Shinmu 1, uh, 1, 2, and 3. And I'm out, guys.